least the rug was pulled out from underneath her. She didn't feel confident. She didn't know if she could make it. Yet she rose like the phoenix, leading herself and her family into a new beginning. And you can too. Are you ready? The Cornelia Stephanie Show Lady Boss knows what women want. To be free to speak their voice, live in financial freedom, and build businesses that radiate wealth, leaving legacies we can be proud of. Join Cornelia, Dana, Chris, and Diane the first and fourth Friday every month as they raise the roof to inspire confidence in all women. Welcome, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in and joining on the Cornelia Stephanie Show today. I'm Cornelia Stephanie, your host, and I'm with my beautiful co-host, Dana Terrio. Welcome to the show, Dana. Hi, Cornelia. Thank you. Welcome. I want to let everybody know uh, this is the topic that we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about quite a few things all related to health and consciousness and how we can use what we have in our toolbox to support our health and our well-being. And also, mind over matter. What does it mean to be a consumer? Is consumption limited to matter? that you put in your mouth when it comes to health and healing or human potential? What comes to, to mind when you think of all that you consume? You can feed your body and you fuel your whole being because you can make your mind matter. And you're going to hear a lot of that today when we're talking about this in the show because over the last, what was it? This Is this the fifth show, Dana, that we've done on Handle the Lump, Heal Your Life? This is number five. It's, it's amazing. It's really, really amazing how fast time has flown and how much uh, influence that we've had in the community over this five-month period. So I just want to recap a little bit about uh, how this conversation of cancer has expanded and also influenced our community. So do you want to go back with me and kind of do a recap of uh, the last five segments, the last five months? Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. So uh, what do we do? Who, who did we have on show one? That was my coming out. That was you and me, the two lady bosses. Then number two, we brought my doc on, Dr. V. And then number three, we brought world-class activist Ann Fafa. And I saw she was just marching down at Harvard recently. Oh. Then number four, it goes so quickly. Number four, we had uh, our doc Maureen Pierce and she practices health psychology. So that's when we really changed from the consciousness aspect where we really got into mental health, which was so apropos with mental health month, this month being suicide prevention month. Yeah, and I'm looking so forward to, you know, compiling all these shows into one uh, link when we're going to post this on Facebook that's going to have all the links of all the previous shows together in one for the upcoming Breast Cancer Awareness Month so that the women can have everything at, the, at their fingertips as they're looking forward to, you know, taking health and well-being into your own hands because really uh, that's, that's true empowerment when you realize that, that, you know, taking the reins on your own healing and, and we're bringing on doctors and experts and people that have overcome tremendous odds, including yourself, right? So uh, it's really, really important right now that we're raising the roof on and uh, really empowering others more. Do you know what the statistic is on breast cancer? Like how many women, uh, uh, you know, what's the, what's the statistic? How many women uh, can catch breast, get breast cancer? Do you know, Dana? I don't know the exact, and I don't want to misquote because we're north of the border with America, but I mean, we're close cousins anyhow. I just know that it is, the leading cancer cause for women. Breast cancer is number one, but I don't know what the exact numbers are. I know that 95% don't even have the history of it, but I know it's on the rise. And I just came back from Dr. V's recent retreat. I was in Atlanta last week, so I learned a whole bunch of more juicy goodness. And sadly, it's on the rise, more with young. And you heard it here, it, this is cutting edge. They expected it to be realized by 2020, by 2020, but in advance of 2020 now, 
cancer is the leading cause of death. It has surpassed heart disease now. So, so you know, Maureen, Maureen Pierce, I think it was the last show when she was that the last show. Yeah. When yeah. she was on, she, uh, she termed it that health is a skill. Health yeah. is a skill. And I love that. I love that quote. Right. I do too. I do too. I love it. It's a habit that can be cultivated. It's a skill and it's a process, not an event. So it's progress over perfection. I love that too. I got to see Dr. Maureen too. Oh, did you? That's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. She was, she actually, um, the show that we had with her, we had over 6,000 views on this show, on that show. And it was, it was incredible. I want to just thank all the listeners and everybody that was tuning into that particular show and everyone that's listening to this show today. You know, when I was speaking to my assistant the other day and I asked her to put together the all the links for the Breast Cancer Awareness Month, Breast Health Management and whatnot for next month, as we're going to continuously keep promoting this out on social media, she was telling me, oh, she said, oh, Cornelia, I'm so glad you're doing this because a friend of mine's uh, daughter just got breast cancer and it's going to be great to have everything in one place. So I, I invite the audience now when you're listening to this. Uh, later on on a podcast or you're going to see this on the YouTube video I would love it we would love it if you would comment underneath the video and let us know uh, what inspired you about today's topic uh, we're going to introduce you to uh, another amazing guest speaker today and also what it is that you're struggling with and what you would like help with or if it if anything inspired you comment on the YouTube video and like and subscribe to the channel because every time when we do another show, it's going to alert you that there's a new YouTube video that was uploaded because we're bringing you the cutting edge so that you can take uh, self-healing, healing into your own hands with all the resources at your fingertips. Right, Dana? That's right. You know, this might be a good time too because I just returned and you talked about empowerment with the fingertips. So just having returned from the last retreat. I don't know if you can see this, but this is a movement. Can you see? Check your girls. So this is our movement, hashtag yeah. check your girls. And just like your assistant was saying, everyone's got a Me Too cancer story. So sadly it's going, it's just increasing and uh, high incidence with young children too. And it's, um, yeah, it's just, it's going up and up. You know, Dana, I was gonna do a podcast today with Dr. V. Oh, were you? Yeah. Yeah, and the thing about it is for some reason that there was interference and we just couldn't get it, we just couldn't, it just didn't work. So it was interesting because I was gonna share my own healing story too and about you know how I healed my body uh, with my emotions. And one of the things in my book, I talk about uh, the core wound of unworthiness, of, of, of not feeling worthy. And when you look at the, um, the emotional suppression in the breast there is it's a direct link and a direct conflict with not having a high self-worth and there's also a conflict with uh having um high you know a low self-worth there and also uh, uh not giving yourself nutritional um you know high nutrition uh nurturing yourself and healing yourself and caring for yourself women are so used to taking care of everyone else and that they that they you know forgot about themselves in the process and then the emotion was suppressed in the breast and truly that is where it starts because we talked about earlier mind over matter matter it's those thoughts those negative thoughts that get suppressed within the body and um, that's what we're going to shine the light on again today I mean and we can't speak about it enough how important it is to uh, release your emo emotions that have been suppressed over eons and eons and eons of time so that cancer doesn't begin in in your body you know uh one of the things that one of my mantras is i canceled my appointment with cancer and i i i i say that and i stand by that because you know again this can happen to anyone but if you already uh inform your body today by saying 
I canceled my appointment with cancer. This is not something that I want to have because I'm open, I'm willing uh, to look and see what's out of balance within myself, what still needs to be loved, nurtured and honored and to take, uh, you know, self-healing into your own hands. I love that you say that your book landed today too, Cornelia. So my mother's here, she's reading it. So we're, we're excited to, you know, dive into that. And just coming back from that retreat that I went to, that conference was fantastic. I saw the heavy hitters and really the cutting edge docs in the business, the true blue health hackers and Dr. Uh, Tony Jimenez, Dr. V mentioned last time, he runs the Hope for Cancer Clinic in Cancun. They do so many treatments that are not permitted in America or in Canada here. And you know, it was so nice and interesting and affirming to hear this fantastic man of science say on the stage that with all the modality madness, it didn't matter what therapy or treatment that you do, exactly what you're talking about, the core wounds, because breasts are representative of nurturance. So it's bringing balance back so many women over care and are underexpressed and repressed and suppressed. So you know what he said, Dr. Tony said that out of everything, you can do all the ozone therapy, the vitamin C, you can do everything, the whole trifecta of the traditional treatment, everything. He said, unless we address the essential emotional work, which Dr. V captions in her book, uh, number four is doing the emotional work. She said, well, he affirmed what she said, that true healing will never happen. And this is a man that is a, a classically trained, bona fide medical doctor. And yeah, he's doing this. and because that's so true, it's so true with the emotional, the emotional work. And, you know, over the, over the years, since I've been working with my clients and, and helping them do what I've done for myself, uh, I had, I had a client who was having emotional suppression in her gallbladder. I talk about that in my book and where, uh, the doctor was recommending that she had her gallbladder removed. And I asked her, work with me for a couple of weeks. Let's see if we can release the emotion behind it and change your diet. And if you still, after the next couple of weeks, want to have an organ removed from your body, then um, you can still make that choice. And she never had to. So it's, it's, there's so many stories like this, right? That when we really go get to the core root of what it is that you, our body is yearning to hear the realization that the body is learning to get your attention. What, where have we been neglectful when it comes to our self-care, our nurturing and our radical self-love? Yes, yes. This is the whole premise of what we're talking about today with our special guest, feed your body and fuel your whole being because it's so much more than just, it's, it's every bite and breath we take. With yeah. every bite, what are we eating? With every breath, what are we thinking? Because consumption isn't just limited to food matter. It's the air we breathe, the quality of the company we keep, and the thoughts. Thoughts consume us too. Dana, tell us about my breast friend before we go to break. We're going to go to break in a few minutes, but I want to let everybody know about that. Let's, let's talk about my breast friend. My breast friend. My breast friend uh, is a, what I love about this, so this is going to be in review, my breast friend is a training system that if you can't see it but appreciate understand that these are exact replicas of tumors that have been removed by surgeons so this is it's just amazing typically by the time women discover lumps themselves which they typically do more often than not it's the size of a ping pong but this allows early true blue early detection that it can be the size of a piece so these little tumors are quite small but to the trained fingers and we're talking about to the flats of the fingers going up and down like a grid and within this system there's a trusty little explanation book in here i just think it's such a, a beautiful thing because a, it trains us on true early detection, but it really, it's high touch, low tech. So it's more manual than machine. And it puts the power in our fingertips. It increases our intuition and it really, um, it's cheap and cheerful, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Yeah. And it's it doesn't compress or radiate breasts the way mine had been for 20 years. No early detection, no late detection, no detection at all. So it's true blue empowerment. I love it. 
and Dr. V was uh, brought this to our show. And so how do people access this? Because every woman, uh, especially the younger women and the you know, middle-aged women need to have this as part of their health care, as part of, part of their breast care, as part of their self-examination. So the same way that you do your, uh, you know, your rituals, this is another one of those monthly rituals that you do and have this as early detection. How do women access this? Get this, Dana. Mybreastfriend.com forward slash Dana, D-A-N-A. And it's just that easy. And with that comes a really uh, wonderful illustration training video that uh, can be sent to you by email because we need to learn how to do this. And then once the power's in our fingertips, then we can choose. I mean, Dr. V had the science with everything because she's this is her playground. She's brilliant with this, but she has never actually had a mammogram in her life where I had 20 years of mammograms and then no detection at all. Wow, that's incredible. Well, we're going to take a break on the Cornelia Stephanie Show. We'll be right back with my co-host, Dana Terrio. We'll be right back. Are you an entrepreneur who's struggling to be seen? Do you know deep in your gut that if you could just be seen and get your message out, that you'd easily reach your tribe? How wonderful would it be if a fairy godmother came along, waved her magic wand, and suddenly you were more than visible? You were dazzling. Would you sign up for that? Hi, I'm Deborah Lupien, spiritual teacher and international best-selling author of Akasha Unleashed, The Missing Manual to You. I'm here with the wonderful news that such a person actually exists. Her name is Cornelia Stephanie, and she's gifted at helping entrepreneurs become dazzling. I've watched her work her magic over and over to turn invisible entrepreneurs into dazzling stars who easily attract their ideal clients and have fun doing it. Not long ago, I was the recipient of her gift. As a guest on her show, Living Heaven on Earth, not only did we have fun, but Cornelia helped me get my message out to a wider audience, which resulted in a very nice spike of traffic to my website and more subscribers to my list. Did I mention it was incredibly easy? Cornelia's running a veritable media empire of uplifting programs. They cover a broad range of topics and have a large appreciative audience. That's a winning combination, folks. Guess what? Those shows need guests and hosts. Imagine, after guesting on a few shows, moving up to hosting your own popular show? That is absolutely possible for you. So now you have a decision to make. Are you going to keep struggling on your own or are you going to sign up for some Cornelia Stephanie dazzling visibility magic? Email radio at corneliastephanie.com today. Welcome back to the Cornelia Stephanie show. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. And I want to thank one of our very special guests and listeners that commented on our YouTube channel. And this is what she had to say. And we appreciate so much when y'all comment. We love it so much when you, when you all share with us what your thoughts are. This is what Anne Marie had to say. She said the link between consciousness and chronic illness is explored in this thoughtful and timely discussion between hosts Cornelia Stephanie and Dana Terrio and their guest, Dr. Maureen Pierce. How do you navigate the path from fear to empowered choice when you have a diagnosis of a serious medical condition? That's what we're talking about here today to help you and support you. Watch these videos. Uh, check out the, the last links of all the programs that we've had. And then make an empowered choice to help you navigate any you know, illness that you may be facing. Because we're here to help. That's why we're doing this. Right, Dana? That's right. And as Dr. V says, practice now. No overwhelm. So that way we can be singular focused. Just one bite of the elephant at a time. Just you know, digesting the information that we need. Cool. Awesome. So introduce us to our amazing guest. I can't wait. <laughs> oh, I can't tell you how excited I am. Okay. 
Diane Solano, RNCP, ROHP, is a registered orthomolecular nutritional consultant practitioner, a former teacher at the Canadian School of Natural Nutrition, and an active member of the International Organization of Nutritional Consultants. Her practice has expanded into the field of functional medicine, and she has worked closely with elite clinic, clinical nutrition experts in both the U.S. and Canada. Diane has spoken globally on the topics of applied clinical nutrition, and she has facilitated courses and lectures within various corporations. Aligned with Hay House heavyweights and greats, Diane team leads retreats with the Dr. Joe Dispenza and is designated orthomolecular nutritionist for the Master Intuitive Coaching Institute. Diane contributed, she contributed her nutrition expertise to the number one best-selling book, Weight Loss for People Who Feel Too Much, authored by Colette Baron reed another Hay House loved one. Within the past four years, Diane has expanded her business into health and wealth creation by becoming a diamond distributor partner with Organo Worldwide. Motivated by being a single mother, Diane has become a model mompreneur, building and leading an international organization in less than five years. With a sales volume of over two million, Diane's passion is now helping and developing others in their entrepreneurship to create the ultimate freedoms of health and wealth. Welcome, Diane. Thank you so much, Dana, for having me on this fabulous show. I'm so excited about where the show is going and how the listeners that are coming in and getting really empowered. Um, I spent 20 years empowering people individually. And then, you know, wake up call, because everybody has a wake up call, whether, you know, it's extreme pain or pleasure, we get to a point where we have to make decisions in our lives. And, you know, doing a lot of one on consults, my field of expertise expanded into the whole quantum physics model. I realized I was playing small. Um, I wanted to impact more people to become more empowered and start understanding the different layers of self-creation in life, which includes our health. Because if our bodies aren't working right, our performance will always be affected. No matter what the ailment is, whatever the topic may be, if your body isn't working right, your instrument, your physiology cannot perform and for you to be the best version of yourself on this earth. So, you know, my goal now is to just, you know, bring in all the pieces and expertise throughout the years that I've gathered and now be able to organize a beautiful platform for those that come forth will be able to take something that feels right for them based on the information we're sharing. So thank you for having me on this call. This is just the sweetest full circle moment for me because I met you over 12 years ago where I had studied nutrition at the Canadian School of Natural Nutrition. I never had a passion for the practice, but I was just, you know, for my own health healing and family planning purposes, I had studied. And then all these years later, we're reunited again. So that's just the sweetest thing for me. People can appreciate that you are a true lady of science. I remember you in class. You were a tough cookie. I remember. Was I? Oops. <laughs> well, when I say a tough cookie, I mean, it wasn't... It, I knew that you knew your stuff for real. I mean, you were telling me stuff about adrenal fatigue because that's something we both had shared. And you just, you knew your stuff and you knew all these doctors. So that was, that was really something. So please tell us for the lay person on the street, orthomolecular nutrition. I know. Functional medicine nutrition. Okay. It's a it, mouthful. It, it is a mouthful. We appreciate this and I know it's cutting edge and you studied with the best of the best. So please tell me what, what does that mean? Would love to share. So one thing I learned um, very early in life was that you want to follow mentors that whatever field you're in that are really getting the results you're looking for and that are having progress. So I was a big fan of following other professionals, other doctors in the field of functional medicine and orthomolecular nutrition that were actually getting real lifetime measurable results with their patient base. So I became a hungry student and I shadowed many of them throughout the country. Um, Canada, you know, offered so much. So I used to go to the US, a lot of great top, top, top docs out there. And they're still they're evolving and they're still, they're still coming onto the market. Now with orthomolecular nutrition, it's, it's a mouthful, but it's basically science-driven nutrition. So there's holistic nutrition and they understand the basics that are very fundamental in you know, wellness. But then there's the scientific driven, I want to know pathways. I want to know that if I'm telling someone, listen, here's the liver detox you're going to do, I need to understand exactly the scientific receptor site it's going on, how it's actually going to contribute to the body chemistry, because I'm a little bit left brain that way. If I can see how it works, then I feel empowered and on fire to share it. So I'm just one of those 
geeky science brain people that I just really love to know the how I can't, you know, memorize and know that this herb is good for you or this glandular is good for you if I don't know how it works in the body. So really it's a study of the science behind nutrition. Nutrition drives a biochemistry it has for thousands of years and that's never going to change. The challenge we have today is that food is available, but food no longer has the nutritional value anymore. So our bodies are actually starving, not for substance because there's stuff to put in our stomach everywhere, but really for the nutrition that breaks down and gives our cells lives. It gives our cells a uh, fuel. It gives our body chemistry what it needs to perform. And that's where I found my passion because my dad actually was diagnosed with cancer. And I originally wanted to study veterinary medicine. Long story, um, you know, it empowered me to say, hey, wait a minute, our regular medical model is not doing the job that it needs to do to really empower people. So I started to learn about the politics in, in conventional medicine. I started to learn about, you know, the, the pros and cons to all this confusing era of information and how can people best be served so really it was about focusing in on you know when it came to cancer when it came to health and wellness what are the fundamentals irrelevant of the source of the cancer the stage whatever it's at we know that bodies that are high acidity are more prone towards cancer expression we know bodies that are low nutrition are more prone to cancer expression we know that bodies that are low oxygen are more prone to cancer expression. We know bodies that high, have a high inflammation are more conducive to, to having cancer. And with this high stress uh, world that we live in and you know the go, 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 this is all contributing to a very imbalanced life. So this is where you know the functional medicine piece came in because I wanted to know the lifestyle piece, but it was also important for me to know biochemically speaking, why are we giving you this and how can we really make a difference? Fast forward, um, I love how you brought in the whole set of mindfulness, because what I realized over the years, there were people doing a lot of things right, but they weren't getting the health results they wanted. And then there were a lot of people not doing things right, but they were thriving. And this led me to, you know, this little conundrum going, huh, I'm very curious about this. You know, if everything is so linear, why are we not getting the results we're looking for? And fast forward, that's when I started to get really enthralled um, with Dr. Joe Dispenza's work. I was actually using a lot of his work when it came down to neuroplasticity, which is the way we think, rewiring our habits, creating new neural pathways, new identity of who you are. He has a great book called Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself. Um, that was his earlier years of his science-driven neurology and how the brain works and your personality and how that expresses in emotions, which expresses in your self-function we're all interrelated. We're so intricately weaved. And I brought this information with Colette's uh, book, you know, weight loss for people who feel too much because it was then fueled by the same thing. Why are people who do everything right, not getting the results they want? Well, emotions, you know, are a signature of your frequency, which results in the reality of the life that you're calling in, in terms of experiences, circumstances, things, which also can be a result in your health. So this is where I noticed that, wow, you know, we're much more than what we eat. We're also what we think and how we feel. And how can we put that together and give somebody a good platform to be able to start somewhere? And really how you think and how you feel will determine, you know, the, the reality of your life. And that's where I became very passionate about Dr. Joe Dispenza's work. I followed him. Um, I actually did a lot of, you know, close volunteering, especially with his brain mapping scientists. Um, everything is very driven by science. Everything is measured. He's basically taken, you know, the, the idea that our thoughts create our things and actually has put it almost in a test tube and has been able to, to document the science behind how we're having spontaneous remissions. We're having incredible changes in people's lives on health, on wealth, on relationship, on anything, because according to quantum law, you have infinite, infinite um, you know, options of, of whoever you want to be and whatever you want to create. And that includes health as well, which is fundamental. Yes. And I love that you being the scientist woman, you really appreciate the mind to matter medicine. Now you shared with me a wonderful story before of, in a retreat yourself, Dr. Joe called you out. Um, if you, if you want to share that just as an example or not, and then you're basically on, you know, Dr. Joe Theta hangover because you just came off the heels of a, a retreat with him. So you can share whatever you want to share, how your intimate up close and experience with him or your latest takeaway. Uh, you know what? I'll share a little bit of both because really yeah. it's about the story. Um, yeah. In life, Tony Robbins says it best. People don't change unless there's extreme pain or pleasure. Yep. And I had a fabulous life. I still do. I've created a, an even more magnificent one. But at that time, 
I was going through a lot of ups and downs, you know, brick, brick and mortar practice became a single mom. That's when things got really scary for me. And I realized I didn't have a way to really scale my, my profession. Um, I wanted time freedom, location freedom to be with my little boy, because really life is about relationships. You know, being in the awe of having a child is, is a gift. I wouldn't want to ever lose that. And being an entrepreneur, solopreneur, I was always doing work for 12 hours every day. Um, but then, you know, when I realized, oh my gosh, you know, I can't keep just doing the practice and expecting something to change on that modality. I just started doing some real deep soul searching. I had a very uh, broken heart, really. For me, it was a lot of relationship trauma that I have called in, whether it was lineage, whether it was genetic, whether it was old programming. Again, my emotions were creating an electromagnetic field, creating a reality I was calling in. Um, people in my life that just kept on showing up in a way that just wasn't serving me. And, and I went to Dr. Joe Dispenza's first progressive workshop about four to five years ago, probably five years now, um, or more, six, with Colette Baron reed actually. He was in Toronto. And the reason why he called me out was because this man really feels energy and frequency. He's done the work himself. He's a walking bulletin board of what he promotes and talks about. And I didn't really know the theory um, of how deep he was really into the work until I went to a workshop. You know, we had a meditation to do. I had an emotional moment behind a piece of paper, just like this one, you know, just looking at the handout going, you know what, I think I'm going to meditate on something else. He calls me in the middle of a room of 500 people. And the way he called me out was like, Diane, get over here now. And I'm like, what did I do? Pulls me out and he looked at me and he said, you know what, what happened to you in there? And I'm like, well, nothing. And he's like, nope. He goes, I felt the energy of the room completely shift. And I'm like, wow, this guy didn't even see me, barely knew anything of me. There's 500 people. Obviously, he's feeling something and, you know, vibration is real. And he said, look, I don't know what happened to you in life, but I need you to know you created this. Everything that happens in your life, you are playing a role in creating it. Now, it doesn't make you a bad person. It doesn't mean that you created it on purpose. You're unknowingly creating reality in your life. And it's up to you to decide to change that. I mean, you may not know what you want, but I know you know what you want to feel. Do you want to feel healthy and strong? Do you want to feel free? Do you want to feel abundant? Do you, do you want your, you know, your little needs taken care of so you can become creative? Like, Get clear on what you want to feel because I need you to change your energy and your frequency so you can create the reality you really deserve to have. So they say, and I have seen and lived, that you, know, you either create on purpose or you create by default. And creating on purpose led me to the path of now expanding health and wellness into wellness and wealth creation. Because if we can have both, you know, if we can have health and we can have abundance, we can become creative to show up in the world and contribute the way we were meant to contribute. When we're in survival, we can't get past paying the bills. And that's a huge problem in today's world if we are all on this hamster wheel driving so much stress, trying to change matter to matter. What if we change our frequency? What if we ate the right foods, worked with our vibration, and all of a sudden had cells, trillions of them in our body, vibrating at a frequency that is an all-time high to create the most delicious life that you ever want to have? Because that is completely possible. And that's where I became really, really passionate about integrating the work of health, wellness, nutrition, biochemistry, vibration, and then how do we create a beautiful package for people to now have, you know, a, a platform to now have health, wealth, expansion, and, and really evolution. So this is where this whole, you know, all this expertise started to come together. And I became a team leader of his because he saw I was so passionate about the work. He, he as a huge honor, had reached out when he first launched his advanced series. Um, you know, he's blown the medical community you know, he can't, he's got neuroscientists and epigenetists and all kinds of people going, what are you doing? And, you know, please share the data. So now, you know, he's gotten to the point where we have very high people in medicine going, dude, you're right. This is insane. And we want to know more. So we're changing the world. His events are actually almost sold out. I strongly recommend that there's a listener on here that ever wants to attend one of his workshops. As soon as they release them, 24 hours later, they are sold out and they're growing and growing because the the spontaneous remissions we're seeing based on frequency changes, all the science is there is actually happening. So it's an honor and a pleasure. I just spent a week with him in Niagara. We had 179 coherence healings. Um, we had people doing deep meditation, changing frequency of their brain waves. 
because that will change the signature in your cell vibration. Also change the signature within your lineage. I mean, there's signs to back this all up. So when I came out of the work, my life changed for me. I had the opportunity of Organo showed up, you know, all of a sudden relationships that didn't serve me fell apart. Relationships that were serving me were starting to show up because I showed up for myself. And you got to do the work, just like a gym membership, you know, you sign up for a course, it's application that's key. So it's not about going to any course or listening to any speaker, it's applied knowledge that will always take you in a better direction. And like you said, Dana, you know, we're always a work in progress. We never get to a destination. We're always just building upon who we are. And we're always evolving as women, especially, you know, we have different roles in our lives and we have relationships that serve us and relationships that don't serve us. So we got to start taking inventory and taking care of ourselves, our body physiology, along with our emotional needs. And if we can do that, man, women who have that balance, we can change the world and you change a woman's life, you change generations to come. And that's why I'm so fired up because now we're affecting women in third world countries. Now we're reaching out to women in Mexico. We have platforms to win out to women in, in Africa, um, you know, many in Asia and Europe. And these kinds of vehicles are now with technology, you know, the way the world is working, the way business entrepreneurship is working. Um, you know, when you can blend health in a habit that's really easy, um, bring in all those beautiful uh, support, you know, health pathways that are needed for ultimate wellness. That's what we want for people. Yes. Thanks for sharing all that. And you did do the work because Dr. Joe wouldn't have invited you to be a team lead had you not. So I called you out on your big vulnerable share, but I know you share it so generously with people. So it, it's worth knowing. And the last guest we had, Dr. Maureen, really, really gives high praise for Dr. Joe's retreats. So she practices health psychology. So she's in the know. And I love the pictures that you shared all the photos of people throwing canes and everything in the trash. And with this opportunity, when I met you, my hustle had always been business, human resources, recruitment. So that's how I recruited you. I never had a passion for the practice of nutrition, aside from the power of the potency and the, what it can do for me. But with you, with this opportunity, it's so exciting because Cornelia and I have tried it. We've loved it. And it's, I love em women empowering women. That's what the three of us are all about and here for and um melinda gates talks about how so many economies have been built on the backs of women in poverty and like you say you help a woman boy and you can heal one family at a time and it's global so the reach is incredible so with this opportunity that you have you've just really up leveled because you ended up attracting a cancer client patient base you just you served a lot of people and I always say treat the train. So treating the internal environment. Is there anything you want to, in all of your experience, do you want to comment on what you noticed, what worked and what didn't work and then introduce our wonderful, lovely product line? Absolutely. So, you know, one of the things we did a lot in practice and since the platform, you know, and the awareness is around breast cancer, you know, I did do a documentary on breast cancer as one of the natural approaches that people can, can look towards. I really honed in on the basics. Um, you know, we got to look at acid pH. Is your body eliminating properly? Is your pH too acid? How can we alkalize you? And we alkalize in terms of diet changes. You know, whether people do animal protein, not animal protein, that's a conversation you have to have with your professional practitioner who's going to help you decide what's the best fit. But I do know that greens, I say the same rule in nutrition is the same for finance. The more green, the better. So that will be tremendous help in whatever cancer you have. Greens will always up the game and bring you back to really awesome pH levels. Um, one of the areas we looked at was liver detox. You know, estrogen has to metabolize effectively yeah. along liver pathways. So I was a big fan of liver detoxification. I was a big fan of heavy weight, uh, high-end probiotics because your liver detoxification is a huge factor in being able to process estrogens down a healthy pathway. So they say, you know, we're all intoxicated with estrogen, whether it's the environment, you know, whether it's the ones you make in your own body and you're not processing them properly or whether you're annoyingly intoxicated by them or you're actually ingesting them through, you know, whether it's um, birth control pills or any sort of, you know, menopausal, um, you know, medications. Sometimes we're, we're, we're ingesting estrogens without meaning to and of course the environment. So we want to be able to get rid of estrogens effectively and metabolize them effectively along the proper receptor sites. So we do have 
baseline things that people should really be looking at and practicing. Um, you know, there, you can go on and on about what the many things you can do, but we know we want to increase oxygenation. We know we want to reduce inflammation. We know we want to work with the pH. We know we want better food choices. We know we want better hormonal signaling. And that's where I found that those basics had to be addressed. Now you can layer on top of that. And the, the process of doing a natural protocol can be very expensive. That's what I knew. People were dropping thousands um, a month, if not a week, at, at, at being able to get healing done, whether it was ozone therapy, IV infusions, like it adds up. Yeah, I know. So oh, it's, it's just really scary the way, you know, things can really roll. And that stops a lot of people who want that kind of access, but financially cannot do it. So this is where, when I found Organo, Organo found me. It was a company that was creating pH neutrality in terms of their coffee. They put a superfood in it that had no um, um, uh, toxic doses. It was completely natural. It had no known interaction with medications. It's in 35 countries around the world, but it was infused in coffee. And when I gave protocols to women all around the world and men who were dealing with cancer, one of the areas that I worked with was food and removing acid producing foods. Coffee was one of those things I got the biggest pushback on. Everyone could give up the gluten, people could give up the sugar, no one wanted to give up the coffee. And I found that it was the biggest difficult hurdle for people to give up. So when I found this company, I said, oh my gosh, you guys are producing a coffee that increases oxygenation, reduces body inflammation, helps body pH get more um, neutral, and you're reducing, um, you know, the toxin load because it helps with detoxification as well. Are you kidding me? You are actually producing a product that people want to continue doing without the effects or the ill effects or the non effects that traditional coffee beverages typically have. So most of my practice, I told people, look, no coffee, this coffee you choose 60, 80% that drank this felt so significantly better that they started doing it as part of their daily lives. The company does sell the superfood on its own if you're not a coffee drinker. Um, but one area for uh, cancer that myself and a lot of my functional medicine practitioners use is the superfood, the Ganoderma lucidum. It's a medicinal mushroom extract. This company has an incredible patent on their high-end reishi. It's one of the best I've seen in the world. I've been up against many experts and they all absolutely love and adore it. We're seeing changes. It raises natural killer cell productivity. That's your first line of defense in cancer. It reduces fibrogen uh, formation, which is how cancer metastasizes. So when you look at the science and the data, published medical facts on how Ganoderma lucidum actually can affect body chemistry specific to cancer, it's mind blowing. And we're getting incredible results around the world on this. And so again, a dollar a cup coffee, are you kidding me? It was more cost effective than a McDonald's McCafe. This was mind blowing. So now we started helping many people around the world have a better product, getting better results, getting the nutrition they wanted and creating a fundraiser because this product, it's coffee guys. People never plan to give it up. It came in sachets, we added hot water. It was delicious, it worked well. And now people are running fundraisers with it. And they were helping offset the costs of treatment, which was a win-win right across the board. I'm so glad that you're bringing all this. We're going we're gonna to take a break on the Cornelia Stephanie show, and then we're going to hear more about Organo. But I want to right now congratulate all of us here because here's Dana, right? She comes on. I discovered Dana, and she became an accidental entrepreneur. Bring her on to the Lady Boss platform. And then what does Dana do? Uh, you know, she has, she brings Diane and now Diane is part of the Lady Boss Transformation Talk radio uh, community. And Diane also has her own show together with me. And you can listen more to Diane on the first Friday of every single month here on TTR. And that's going to be from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m. Pacific time. And we encourage and invite you to come and join us. Very soon, uh, within the next week or two, we're going to invite you to be part of our studio audience. So for those of you that want to be part of Diane's uh, show and you want to be part of the audience so you can ask questions, email me at radio at corneliastephanie.com so I can get you your special VIP ticket. And um, that's it for now. So congratulations to everyone. Thank you so much for being here and listening. And we'll be right back. My name is Bob Skeel. I'm 91 years old and I want to take a few minutes now to share with you the important role, actually the critical role, 
Cornelia has played in my life. I say critical because I'm not sure I'd be alive at all to the many possibilities that make up our human experience at my age, if not for her. I could have easily become another dead man walking, only half conscious, stumbling through my remaining years, if it hadn't been for Cornelia. Six years ago, I lost my wife to Alzheimer's. We'd been married for 61 years. I never thought I'd be a widower, but there I was, suddenly lost and alone, but with the good sense to set a working goal for myself. I was going to spend the rest of my life committed to unconditional love, whatever that meant and wherever that took me. A year or so later, Cornea came along, helping me over several years to focus that unconditional love where it had never been focused before, on me. My whole life, my entire being had been focused on love of neighbor, and I had derived great satisfaction from that. But in the process, I had ignored the second part. I love your neighbor as yourself. Now it was time to direct that love inward. I didn't see that right away, but Cornelia did, and she drew me there. She drew me actually to God. Through many conversations over coffee and after numerous, sometimes tearful, agonizing discussions, Cornelia was able to lead me kicking and screaming to within where I needed to be. It was there finally that I was able to re-identify myself. It was in bringing unconditional love to myself that I now saw myself in a new light, a fully conscious, worthy human being capable of healing, loving, and creating in my own right all these gifts of the evolutionary process. I'm a new man now, younger as I get older. I don't move as fast as I once did, of course, but my smile is quicker and I engage the heart and mind of others more readily. I would likely not be at such a wonderful stage in my life if not for Kania. I owe my new life to her, a wonderful friend, and a constant source of inspiration. Thank you, Cornelia. We're back. Thank you so much for listening and for tuning in. My gosh, what an amazing hour we've had. We're going to put all the links into the, that everything that we're talking about, we're going to put it in the YouTube so that you can click on the links. We're going to put uh, the link about Organo, the calls to action, everything that we want you all to participate in so that you can really inform yourself and uh, support yourself with this amazing product that we're going to hear a little bit more about, Dana, right? And Diane, so take it away. Yeah, so at a Hay House event this past year, I met a mutual friend, Vanita. Diana and I both love Vanita, and Vanita reunited Diana, uh, Diane and I, so we could come together for fundraising purposes because this whole magic mushroom thing, it's not just a, a potent healer, <laughs> it's also a great opportunity because uh, what, women are communal, we share things. So it's great to share the message of anything that's healing. So when I was first approached and so grateful that it could be a vehicle to raise funds because there's traditional care uh, in Canada. I know it's covered, but in the States, a lot isn't covered, but there's so much. I do ozone therapy, the vitamin C. There is so much that I do that's off the books. That's really expensive. And I pay exorbitant amounts out of pocket. So this is true empowerment. And they say real empowerment is giving opportunity. So this is something that I'm really, really um, excited to share in my cancer community that they can fund their own care. So that is just, that's exciting in itself. So that's the wealth creation piece and the health piece. So Diane, there's so much here. You want to tell us more about the Ganoderma? I mean, um, I heard Dr. V talk about Ganoderma just at the last uh, conference that I went to in Atlanta. So it, it's magical. A lot of people don't know about it. So you want to say more? Absolutely. You know, Ganoderma lucidum has been around for thousands of years. It wasn't something we created in a lab yesterday. So, so think about it. You know, a lot of new drugs are tested for a few years. And by the way, you become test labs yourself. Something that's been revered in, in, in royalty for thousands of years. I mean, the emperors of China used to, this was very sacred to just the royal family. Back in those days, if you're caught harvesting Ganoderma in the woods, because that's where it naturally grows, 
first line of punishment would be to cut off your hand. Second would be to cut off your head. And luckily we don't have those standards anymore. So Ganodermalucinum is very revered um, for health. A lot of the medicinal mushrooms right now are having a lot of comeback. However, Ganodermalucinum has all of the health benefits most of the medicinal mushroom have on the market plus 12 more. So it's been, you know, really uh, compared against lion's mane and, and chaga, it hosts all the same health benefits plus, 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 plus. So it's known as the king of medicinal mushroom herbs. Now, what I loved about this company is they created a patent, something called a crack shell spore rate, which allows a very high absorption to the cells. So if I were to take vitamin C and I absorb a thousand milligrams, but only 50% of it would be 500 migs. Well, what if I could absorb, you know, 80% or 90%? That's what we want in our bodies. So this or this Ganoderma, this company made was so available to the cells. People were feeling the difference on just one cup, maybe, you know, a week worth the coffee, a month. It just depended. The more imbalanced the body, the quicker they felt it. Um, a lot of scientific data showing how Ganoderma lucidum is very pro, you know, detox, very pro oxygenation, very pro inflammation. So it's going to reduce inflammation, aches and pains of the overall body. Excellent for hormone balance. I have women, menopause, PMS, noticing a physical change the following month or whenever, just switching out their coffee because Ganoderma lucidum will, will, is known as a titrator. If you make too much of something, it's going to pull it down. If you make too low of something, it's going to pull it up. So it's, it's, I like to call it software upgrade for the cell. If you take vitamin C, vitamin D, whatever, it's known as, you know, uh, a hardware upgrade, kind of like your computer. But if you have a cell phone and you do an update, that's software. You update your cell software, you have better performance. This is why people are noticing a difference. On a habit, they never plan to choose to quit. The cancer community especially feels very guilty about drinking a coffee that's not nourishing their bodies. What if we made it guilt-free? What if we made it peach neutral? What if we made it anti-inflammatory? What if we contributed to your immune system because it raised natural killer cell productivity? We have scientific data showing all of that. But I love how bodies feel because bodies don't lie and you don't have to be sick to drink it. The opposite, prevention is everything. Why not get on the horse before you know, things get crazy? Let your body tell you how it tastes and how it makes you feel. That's what we found was the demand was there organically. People wanted more. So it was the best vehicle I've ever seen a natural product come in. People never stop drinking coffee. It flies off the shelves for those people that decide to get accounts or distribute that. Not many people know about Organo yet. It's only 10 years old, but we're in 35 countries around the world. So we're helping people in Latin America who don't have money for care. You know, we have, we're helping people in Africa who don't have money for care. And those that feel aligned with wanting to share the product, there is a potential for them to make extra income if they choose it. So there's something for everyone in here. If you just change your coffee out and you want to get a better quality product that's going to make your body chemistry work better, go for it. If you want to join the community, get empowered, make a, a change in your life, join our community where we can help support your growth and your vision, welcome aboard. But there's something for everyone. And I know that, you know, maybe not everyone wants the business model, but I do know that everyone should definitely try the coffee. So that's where I felt so passionate about the product. And we just started to see body chemistry come around. We do have a private Facebook group. If anybody wants to join that, they can make comments on the YouTube channel. We will invite you on that. I love how you say, Diane, the body is honest. And in your absence, while you were with Dr. Joe last Wednesday, I went to see Dr. Sachin Patel speak. And he was talking about how we feed the hardware, the macronutrients, and then we feed uh, basically the software. And like you say, it's adaptogenic and it's very kind to our physiology with the nervous system. So I went on a radical cancer protocol, like was hardcore for the first year, worked, but you know, I have my reptilian brain and I feel like I'm in deprivation mode. And coffee for me is like my crack cocaine. I really, really enjoy it. I'm not going to lie. It's my favorite part of the day. And I like to drink it all day long. When I go through crazy phases where I give it up, I gave it up for a year and a half. I was on decaf, but the processing of decaf is even worse. So when I discovered this, I noticed that I don't get, I'm very highly sensitive. So my nervous system is really delicate. I'm caffeine sensitive. I can drink this stuff any time of day in my experience and then go to bed and I'm fine. It's, it doesn't, it's very adaptogenic and it, it's, it's that calm alertness. It's not overstimulating. Correct. And you're, you hit it right on the money. And that's why I say bodies don't lie. That's why this coffee that people drink it don't get the caffeine spike and jitters because you detox caffeine along your liver pathways. We're enhancing liver detox. That's why you don't feel it, but it's real coffee. 
And what's very, very nice about this is that you don't get acid reflux either because it's pH neutral. So you'll only know by trying it. Most people want to know what, where they can get it from. There is an online store. I know Dana, you have an online account now because you're so passionate. We're helping people with fundraisers. Any questions on that? You know, people can put in the chat and ask more. Um, Dana, Dana Terrio. So get clear on how you spell your last name. Myorganogold.com is where people can buy a box, a dollar a cup to $2 a cup, depending on the flavor. Try it, drink it exclusively. Let your body tell you how it tastes and how it makes you feel. Happy to share more information on future shows. Stay plugged in. If you have questions, put it in the feed. We're happy, I'm happy to go in and give people more answers for what they're looking for. So yeah. I just want to, I just want to say tell my experience real quick is I uh, very skeptical tried tried the co tried the coffee because I'm a coffee snob and um, so when I was asked you know give this coffee a shot I was just like oh you know I don't know but then I did and sure enough after three days I noticed the difference in my stomach my uh, that there was not that um, I did not feel the need to put food into my stomach to calm the environment in my stomach to stop that, you know, rumbling that was going on from regular coffee. So that's the acidity that I was feeling that I would want to numb with food. So with this coffee, what I noticed is that that's not happening. And it was delicious, delicious, delicious. So of course I became a distributor. So now of course, you know, it's just, we're sharing the, we're sharing the coffee, we're sharing the wealth, we're sharing the information and sharing is caring. And that is what we're doing. So ladies, let's give a call to action. We just have two minutes and almost done for the show. Thank you everybody for listening and tuning in. What's the call to action ladies? I'll share that again. <laughs> yeah, I'll, well, I'll, I'll tell people questions, put it in the chat. Definitely put in some, some words, comments, questions. We're there to answer them. And I say do a coffee challenge. Get a box, drink it exclusively, and let us know how it does for you. Yeah, I want to say about treating the terrain, what this does, it makes the internal environment inhospitable to cancer. This is what I love about it. And I can do it guilt-free, and it's decadent. And now we're going to end with that. Thanks so much. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Dana. Lovely to have you both on. Thank you, everybody. Thanks, TTR. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. You've been listening to the Cornelia Stephanie Show, Lady Boss, Women Inspiring Women, featuring leading edge entrepreneurs who are putting the focus on empathic leadership in today's modern day world. Text the word Cornelia to the number 22828 and receive her weekly newsletters. For more information on Cornelia Stephanie and her extraordinary work, or to listen to past shows, go to corneliastephanie.com.